first of all, congratulations on this beautiful, magnificent film. It's so nice to see you three together because we don't get to see the three of you in a scene together in this film. Am I a sportsman? Or a competitor? If you get into one of my cars, get in the win. Shailene and Penelope, how much or how little did you guys even get to see each other on set? Never. Like really? One, one thing in the table read and one yeah. thing the street when I was um, shooting oh, yeah, the yeah. scene like with the paparazzi and, yeah. and then you were there with Michael and yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, that's the only day we saw each other. Wow, so it's been nice to be able to spend some time together during this yeah, press run. Yeah, very nice, Aww. because I, I love her work so much. So I was sad not to, to have any scenes with her Aww. and have everything with Adam. Everything with Adam. It's exhausting. <laughs> it, well, those scenes were incredible, to say the least. And Adam, I know I the cool. dynamics between both of the relationships yeah. with the women were nice different. Day. They were special in their own element. How did you approach bonding with Penelope and bonding with Shailene ahead of those scenes? Because like I said, those dynamics were different. Um, yeah, w w but leading up to it, we didn't, it wasn't something we talked about or, or felt we needed to, to bond. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always found when you're working with really great actors, there's not a lot of, uh, there's kind of a shorthand that immediately uh, kind of happens, you know, I feel it. There was an immediate uh, respect and they're both actors who are very present and they're not anywhere else, they're right there with you. So in a way it's easy, you, you know, then, the, then just playing the scenes because the script is so strong, they're naturally just right. gonna be different. It was remarkable, everything that you three created on camera. And of course, this is a passion project for your amazing director, Michael Mann, two decades in the making. How special has it been to be able to be a part of making this dream a reality. Shailene, I'll start with you. Yeah, I mean, just work, the opportunity to work with somebody who has spent a lifetime dedicated mm -hmm. to kind of perfecting and mastering a craft mm -hmm. is just, it's, it's a very rare thing, you know? The world is very fleeting at the moment. People's attention spans are all over the place. And, and Michael is dedicated and devoted to every single aspect of the process, even now in the marketing side of, of this film. And, I just, I learned so much working with him because I'd never, even in life in general outside mm -hmm. of this industry, been around someone who was so absolutely um, able to to focus on every single attention of detail. Mm -hmm. um, I was massively, it was, it was a life-changing experience actually. Aww. Adam, for you, how special? Um, I, I've been lucky to work with uh, some peop uh, people who have been had a lot of passion projects, and the only thing that's consistent about it is that you know it's it's uh, actually there's an old uh, quote that I remember Thelma Schoomaker saying about somebody else, but I can't remember who it was. Where, uh, where you, uh, making a film should feel like you have to take a piss. It has to feel like that urgent, which is not. Uh, Maybe that's too early to say that, but... Uh, Good morning. But, uh, Good morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then we can all take a bathroom break. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, I, and that, that's what Michael felt like, you know, on, on set and with people that were... It felt, it felt like it has to be that urgent or, or what's the point of, uh, of making it. Penelope, for you? I've always admired Michael very much. I met him many years ago, and I found him kind of intimidating, even if he was very kind to me. But I, it was one of those directors that I always wanted to work with. So when he called me, I think he sent me the script on the same day and the next day we talked and mm -hmm. I said, of course I want to do this. It's such an honor to be able to give voice to Laura Ferrari, mm -hmm. a character that very few people knew about mm -hmm. and it was very, very interesting. And it's been a great experience uh, working with him. And I, I go uh, after him, asking him, mm -hmm. uh, What's he gonna do next? Because we know what he's gonna do next, yeah. and it sounds incredible. You know, I'm a very big fan of Heat. I think he's been telling people that he's gonna, he's yeah. what he's writing, and it's just gonna be incredible. I love it, and I know that he had each of you really dive into your characters' day-to-day -day lives, and each scene you were in, you just remarkable. What Thank did you. you do specifically to really? get into Lara's character to bring it to life. I know even from like, you wore orthopedic shoes, right? 
to really get her waddle? Not not really orthopedic shoes. Okay. Um, there was like a um, little thing that we put in plantillas. I don't okay. know how you say that in, in English. But I, I think the, the walk came after, you know, a, a few months of preparing the character and finding out who she was. Mm -hmm. And then you, I don't think you can decide first uh, what is the look of a character or what are the shoes that she will wear, why that instead of that, why that color instead of this other, why that hair, what, like everything has a meaning, but first mm -hmm. you have to know what's inside, what is her, her mind, her, and she was deeply depressed because of the loss of, of a child and the, the disaster in the relationship, in her marriage and and the struggle to, to be a part of the company, even if she naturally was, because she was even one of the first investors. But um, I don't know, it was a, really a, a pleasure to be there with him learning and to be with, with this cast. And, and I feel like we are all students and as actors and, and it's a blessing to spend time with people that are talented and that are also kind. And, and also a little scary, like Michael. It's, it's a great combination. <laughs> <laughs> All of us are racers. It's our deadly passion. Our terrible joy. Adam, how long was the transformation process into Enzo? Because it was mind-blowing. Thank you. It, um, kind of similar to what Penelope is describing, and it kind of echoes Michael's uh, way of working mm -hmm. also it's it's all about uh, taking in a lot of information and doing and trying to exhaust it I, I like to know a lot mm -hmm. just uh, really just to manage nerves more than anything so I feel like in the time that I had there was no stone that was unturned okay. you, you know and then and then have to be comfortable with letting all of that go uh, if something in the moment comes up that's better or mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes character can be tricky, where you come in with like, this is who this person is, because often we don't behave in character, or out of character all the time. But also there's a technical part of it with the prosthetics and the makeup. This guy, Alexis Continente, mm -hmm. who I've worked with several times, did the wig, and then uh, Scott Wheeler did the prosthetics. Also from Michael's direction of having something that was subtle, so it wouldn't divorce you from the person. But then just all, mixing all that stuff together and naturally, you know, wearing all that stuff for 14 hours a day, just by osmosis things, mm -hmm. just, uh, you know, you, you just start to go there uh, faster. You know, it's like the run of a play. You do right. a play seven shows a week for four months, always the last performance mm -hmm. is the best one because you've, uh, you know, you've, and you can get there faster because mm -hmm. you've just lived in it longer. <laughs>